Hey, good morning, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, philosopher, plaintiff, and Conti versus DSNY. Ah, Sunday morning walk, proof of life. It's November. Uh, it's December. I don't know, second or third. Proof of life. Matt Lauer, the TV guy, cheats on his wife. What else? General Flynn. <laughs> General Flynn pleads guilty to lying to the FBI. All right, so I'm alive. How about you? So, yeah, what do I want to talk about today, 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 today? It's a good day. It's a good day. It's Verrazano Bridge behind me. Isn't that a beautiful shot? Right at the right at the opening of the New York Harbor. And the boats sail in that way, and that's Manhattan down there. Right? In fact, that's the way at 9-11, the, there's actually, if you look all the way out there, that's where the Sandy Hook, uh, but more so there's a military base over there, and during 9-11, that's where the jets were, that flew over this great divide, and they headed towards Manhattan Island, which is right around that bend, and that's where you saw the planes, the jet planes fly right over. Uh, when the second plane was hitting, those jets were there, and that's where they were. Anyway, uh, what do I want to talk about? I got some notes. Okay, so, the the I'm I'm still deep into the write ups. Going to see a couple more uh, this week, and I uh, should wrap that up by Friday. And you're seeing the, you know, the the conspiracy to stop the guy who's exposing the quota. Right, and I'm also going to talk um, in detail about that. Right, so there was a lot of people that were notified about the about the quota. Um, most most in particular was the EEO woman Teresa Neal, who was also the person, ironically, who prepared the DSNY position position statement against me and presented that to. Uh, the New York State Division of Human Rights. So she was informed, and the fact that she was informed and failed to blow the whistle on Ms. Damasquito, who came into her office and lied, is significant. But there's also a whole trail of people. There's Burke. There's there's also uh, Nieves. All these guys, Damasquito, of course, Pascal, all these people who knew of the quota and were informed of the quota and failed to, failed to disclose them. So... I'm going to go more into that. So I want to, I, I just want to uh, talk about this and I'm going to keep it short. What is political correctness? Now, I get a lot of, a lot of people saying, hey, Conti, you know, what are you doing? You, you, you're going to blow this case by, you know, cursing. And, or, let me ask you a question. How well was, how well was quiet, passive plaintiff Conti uh, how well was that working out for Conti? He got thrown under the bus at, at EEO. He got thrown under the bus at, at uh, New York State Division of Human Rights. He got thrown under the bus at, at uh, 60 Center Street. So that political correctness does not work. So this is, this is the... It's like, it's like this. Here's the, here's the example, right? And this is a good place to talk about it because this was the, uh, the kickoff of the uh, American Revolution, one of them, where the British... British troops sailed in here. There was no bridge at the time, but they sailed in, and that's Staten Island right across the water over there, and that's where they they basically um, camped out. While they attacked or planned to attack, they would travel up, and then they would go in there, which, if you continue on this side, that's the island of Manhattan, and then you go to the top of Manhattan, that's Washington Heights, and that's where Washington and his men hid out as the British planned their attack here and then the battle was here in Brooklyn where I'm sitting so that was the Battle of Brooklyn so it's very historical but but when the British came in they came in with red coats and banging on their drums and blowing their horns and you know and carrying on like the that was the um, that was the code of conduct that was the, the the rules of engagement of war right was to let the enemy know you're coming oh we're gonna why? Because, because that's the way they win. That's the rules of engagement that they're trained to win, right? And, you know, as an independent like myself, you can't compete on that level. You can't compete 
in the same way. You don't have corporate counsel. You don't have 2,000 lawyers. You don't have 25 people that will lie on, on under oath. With a, you know, you don't have all these compromised people, uh, judges, and all, all these. You don't have all these people in your in your corner. So you have to change the rules of engagement, and that's what we did here. We cha completely changed the rules of engagement, and we used social media to our advantage. And bravo, you know, it's fantastic. We're not done yet. You know, the work is still still to continue. We have to get. You know, we have to take them into their into their home court, the court of appeals, and. Um, you know, there's other things coming down the pipe. I don't want to give it away. Uh, some some potentially powerful people coming to bat uh, to back this. I'll have more about that as it unfolds. But uh, you know, that's really all I want to say today. So uh, proof of life. It's a good day. Don't forget to don't forget to exercise. That's what I'm out here doing today. You know, you know, don't forget to meditate, exercise, meditate, eat right. Those are important things. I was a clinical nutritionist. I bet you didn't know that. Right? To have a degree in nutrition. Anyway, it's very important to uh, to take care of yourself and stay clear and stay honest. That's critical, if nothing else. That's what we're learning here today. Is, uh, honesty wins. Honesty wins. Peace out.